My only concern right now is the bears. Until I get a real gun. that oh shoot okay can he cross fences oh he can't what hit me really I hit him with like two shots I've been scared of you this whole time, and I got you with, like, two shots. Okay. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Keep Up Survival. All right. Our last episode, I was having a little boat issue, and I could not figure out how to get the boat to go take us where we needed to go. So I did a little research, got on the Discord, and look on the steam forums and I know how I have actually have ridden the boat so today I'm going to show you guys how to ride on the boat we're going to go get some sulfur and I actually have taken the boat down there I got some sulfur myself it's untreated sulfur so the untreated we have to put in our furnace over here I'll show you actually I'm going to split this I'm going to split these up so they will break down faster. And our untreated sulfur goes in here. And that will start breaking down while we're gone. Because we're going to go get some more. I'm going to show you guys where it's at. And what it's doing, it's breaking down into sulfur bars. i got a little bit of iron in here. I've I melted down some lamps that I don't think I'll ever use, and I'm, I'll probably find more anyway. So I want to have enough silver, or enough iron, excuse me, to make ammo for our pistol. Pistol, that's our whole goal. I'm gonna grab some more wood and throw in here while we're gone. So that'll keep going while we're while we're gone. Keep uh, melting that. Oh, I also created a new uh, storage, a large storage box. It has box. It has 30 slots. So I'm going to just grab a hundred wood. Wood's easy to collect. I'm going to grab that. I'm going to throw it all in here so this continues to burn while we're gone. Throw that in there. And we'll have a lot of uh, sulfur bars by the time we get back. We'll definitely have enough for our ammo. Let's see, I've got 17 iron bars. I think it takes 12 to make our... One, make one box of ammo. We'll take a look here. Yeah, it takes 12 iron bars, 8 sulfur, and 8 coal. Alright, so let's say before we head out... Alright, let's go to the boat. So let's pull open up our map. And this area right here, it says Boat Landing Place Farm. That's where we're going to go. And we're going to take a trip over here to the sulfur deposit, which is over here. So let's go down to the boat first. Yeah, there's this direction. Pull out our trusty crossbow in case we run into any wolves or bears. It's actually really close to our base. That worked out nicely. And my issue I was having last video, I was at the wrong boat. You cannot get on that boat that's in the fishing village. You can get off there. Oh, that's a bear. I thought that was just a boar. Alright. So, we'll just give him a wide berth right now. I think I could probably kill him with a crossbow. But we'll just go around him for now. 
So I'm really enjoying this game. I still have a lot to see. A lot of places to explore. I said we were going to hit the castle up in this episode, but actually well, I'm going to do that. I'm going to save that for next episode. This is going to be a shorter video. Because I just want to show you how this boat system works. I didn't know how to use it, and I'm sure there's other players that don't know how either. So I want to show everybody how it works. Alright, so that's where we're heading over there. There's actually three boats that you can get on. They're not labeled. He has items on there. Tells you, gives you an idea of where where the boat is going. All right, I'm gonna take this marker off our map now, and I'm actually gonna put it over here on the sulfur deposit. All right, so we'll run around here. Uh, we'll actually go inside because there are uh, a few places you can loot inside the dock here. There's a crate. Got some yarn in it. And let's see what else we got here. Got some sardines in there. More yarn. Guess it's yarn day. Can't take any of those books. Or any of these books. And let's see. I think there's... There's a crate here. Got some screws. We'll take those. Don't see anything else here. And nothing else there. Okay. And this is the door that goes outside of the dock. We'll take this rubbish. Alright, so again, there's three boats here. And the boats that have a person on them you can go somewhere. This is the sulfur deposit boat. I only know that because I've been there before. Let's run over here and take a look at the other ones. One takes you to the fishing village, and the other one takes you to the... Uh, let's see... I think one takes you... Prison. Boat Landing Police Prison. So there's one, and one goes to the sulfur right here. And I think one, I think I read one take, oh, to the runes. But I don't see, oh, right here. Boat Landing Place Runes. So that's the three. That's the three. We got the prison, and the runes, and the sulfur deposit right here. So that's where we're going. So I'm going to put my marker there. And let's take a look at these boats. And I'll show you... I think I know which goes where. Um, no, I don't. Apologies. I'm not sure... Yeah, there's no way that... I can't tell which one of these goes where. There's something sitting on that. Maybe that goes to the ruins? I don't know. I don't know which one goes to the prison. Really hard to tell. But I know which one goes to the sulfur, because I've been on that one. So, we're going to take a little boat ride over there. It does take a little bit the journey so I'll cut a little bit of that out but this boat has as you can see it has sulfur what looks like sulfur on there so it just takes a minute when he decides that he's ready to go there we go Now, I'll tell you, I'll show you when we get there, but the boat does not actually stop. You have to jump off the boat. That's something the developer is working on. You have to drop, you have to jump off the boat when we get there. So we can still see our marker on our map. Right here, this is where we're going to jump off. And you can do stuff while you're, while you're on the boat. You can access your inventory, you know, get some stuff done. 
old axe I forgot I had in there. So you so you can access this as you're traveling along. All right, I'll pick you guys up when we get closer. So for those of you that watched my last video, and if you remember where the road was washed out, I'll show you why the road is washed out. There's the castle right there. And I'll show you why the road is washed out, because we go across it right here. There's the road. So that's kind of cool. I like the way that uh, the developer made that. So there's the castle over there. We will visit that soon. Yeah, that's neat. Uh, my last video when I was, I was like, why do you have the road washed out? Well, that's why. Pretty cool. Alright, guys, so we're getting closer to our spot. You can see on the map we're about 600 meters away. And again, as you're cruising along, uh, we'll go across the, uh, past these sand deposits. I found out the sand, I asked that in the last episode, what the sand is used for. That is actually used to make glass. Uh, so I don't know if that's uh, something that comes about later, if you want to use that for base building, maybe for windows, I'm not really sure. I haven't made any glass yet. So, we're kind of in the middle of the lake here, but he'll take a hard right turn here in a minute to get closer. There he goes. So he's going to get us closer, and then when we get close to the dock, we're just going to jump off. There, we see the dock coming into view. And again, the boat does not stop, so you have to jump off. Like so. Alright, there we go. Now that boat, he'll go back from where he came. <laughs> and I'll show you when we get done here, when we get ready to go back, there's a boat pickup here as well. Alright, so let's go back to our map, and now we want to highlight the sulfur deposit over here. And of course, there are bears over here. Have to keep an eye out for those. Hello, Mr. Crab. I'll leave you alone. And this sulfur deposit is pretty cool. I actually like it the way he did that. It looks neat. There's a road here. There's also some buildings down there. There's Mr. Wolf. We'll see if we can avoid him right now. Yeah, I don't think he saw us. Hear him. I don't see him. Alright, you can see the smoke. This is the sulfur deposit. Very cool. This is also the perfect opportunity to use our hang gliding. We just jump and hit Q. I'm pressing the, my W to go forward. Very cool. Alright, now. Let's get our pickaxe out. I've got that in my number two. And we'll let's get to mining. Of course, this number is random, just like the mines, the caves. Uh, I've got 28 sulfur. Alright, now you can't, you can't mine these big deposits here. I haven't went across this, I don't think it'll hurt you. No, it won't. Okay. I see a house down there, let's go check it out.
No, oh, nothing in it. Oh, got a cool waterfall over here. That's neat. Oh, there's a bridge up there. Okay, cool. Uh, let's go check out this house, see if there's anything over here. Oh, we do have a box over here. Some more lamps we can melt down. And some box of nails. Okay, so I, I haven't been over here very long, and I've almost got 300 raw sulfur. So it goes really quick. And again, this is where we're at. Right in here. So now we want to go back to the boat pickup. And that is... Right here. The boat landing place for the sulfur. So it's 540 meters away. Oh, there's a little bridge down here. Cool. By the way, if you don't know, you can hit H to turn off your HUD. Great for screenshots. Alright, so... Again, there's there's tons of more nodes that I haven't even accessed yet. Or haven't even um, mined. Lots of nodes over there. So let's head back to the boat. Legs, knee pad. Do I have those? Oh, I don't. Cool. Something new. The knee pads. It did give me two extra slots. I think that's what it said. Yeah, right here. Very cool. Something I didn't have. Alright, there's a couple... couple piggies, but they're... They're nice piggies. They're not boars. Alright, so the boat pickup is over here on the other side. Where my cursor's at. And don't worry, he'll wait for me. Oh. Heard a bear. Alright. I don't want to mess with the bear. Let's go get on the boat. There is a uh, side entrance here for the boat. And it's going to get dark soon. But this is the only boat that's here. Let's get our flashlight out so you guys can see. It's the only one that has a person on it. Yeah, now he's got a pumpkin on his boat. So that means... See the, see the pumpkins? That means he takes you back to the farm. And that's where we want to go. And we're off. Alright, very cool. Now, so I'm going to take my map and I'm going to mark the boat landing place farm. Just so I know how close we are. Cool looking sky. And the nights are pretty long in this game. Well, they're not horrible. We experienced that last episode. But we're just going back to our farm, so it shouldn't be too big of an issue. Alright guys, I'll pick you back up when we get closer to the landing area. Alright, we're about halfway back. Got a nice moon. Nice full moon out there. There's the castle again. This boat ride isn't too bad. It's maybe two or three minutes. And we're going to go across the road again. Yeah, I hear you, Mr. Wolf, over there. You just stay over there. Alright, guys, so once again, the boat will not stop. So we have to jump when we get close. Like about now. Alright, maybe we can get up here. There we go. All right, now, our farm 
There's actually two different farms. Our farm is, um, our farm is further away. It's right here. Hey, let's see what's in the box. More screws, I'll take those. Don't need the tent. I'm actually going to save. As long as I don't run into any wolves, we'll be fine. There is another farm that's closer here. Right here. And I think, actually the first episode, I think we went to that farm. But that's not where our base is at. There's big barns, buildings. But we're over here at the other farm. Yeah, so it's, the night's not too bad, and, and the moon is pretty bright. Hope you guys can see okay. So my only concern now is the bears. Until I get a real gun. that oh shoot okay can he cross fences oh he can't what hit me really I hit him with like two shots I've been scared of you this whole time, and I got you with, like, two shots. Okay. Well, good to know. Yeah. Okay. I thought, uh... thought he was a bigger deal than that. Now we know. Alright, it's good to be home. Got lots of rubbish hanging around here. Let's take this marker off our map so it's not in the way. There we go. Alright, let's see how our furnace came out here. We've got five untreated sulfur left, so let's throw all this in here. And I'm actually going to split it up. We've got 100 118 bars. We got coal, and we got silver bars. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna throw this oil lamp in there. There we go. All right. Let's see if we can make some ammo. There we go. It takes 26 seconds. Oh, I can make, I can make two boxes. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, so our ammo doesn't stack. All right, let's get our pistol out. Let's see if we can just hit reload. And we can. It holds 14 rounds. Let's go to first person. Shoot a tin can. Oh, nice sound. I like the sound. Can we shoot the fire hydrant? <laughs> Alright. So, okay, well, that's what I like when you reload. It just takes it out of, it takes it out of here. And, uh, yeah, I like that. Okay, nice job. Alright, I'm glad we finally got some ammo now for our pistol. I'll have to make an, uh, I need to find another mine to get, we'll have to hit this, uh, this other mine, or me other metal deposit right here. And we'll also check this cave 
that's clo close to us because it probably has respawned by now. So, all right, guys, a bit of a short one today, but I want to show you how the boat worked. And because I, I had some questions about that myself, so I'm glad we got it working. And um, now you guys will know how to use the boats as well. So if you like this episode, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I do appreciate each and every one that subscribes. And come back and see me for more episodes of Keep Up Survival. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.